Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Lucamus Prime here, so it is time for another actual big unboxing and review today. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be unboxing this on a figure in the DC Multiverse toy line of figures. And this figure is going to be for my favourite enemy of Batman of all time, and a new variant of this character. And this character, as you probably guessed by the title and the thumbnail and the clue I just gave, is none other than a figure of the Joker. As he appears in a comic called Batman Free Joker, there it is right there. And there it is, of course, written out there as the source that the figure is based on. So, the figure is in there, and it comes with a um, walking cane. And I think with that, there is a card, like with every, every DC Motorverse figure and the Fallen Toys toy line. And there's a stand there as well, I think. Can barely see it, though, but yeah. Yeah, there's a stand. The Fallen Toys are also one of my favourite action figure companies of all time. So, yeah. And so, it says here there's 20 million parts. And this is part, as well, of the DC Multiverse toy line, as it says there. And... See, and says there as well and um, that's what the card will, will probably look like uh, because usually the cards have the same picture on as the back of a box here so it might look like that which is literally a picture of the figure itself not from the comic and there's always you can get down there as well i've already got the, that figure one under my tom mcfarlane i don't even got the others though i've not got king shazam bat cycle doctor fate from injustice 2 or Bam and battle damage yet hopefully i'll get them more in the future one day so so, when it comes to, of course, the Baron Free Jokers, guys, I haven't read that particular comic. I'm not familiar with it, but I thought I'd get this figure because it looked pretty cool and it's another Joker I can have. I think I've already got a figure of Batgirl based on this because I wanted to figure of Batgirl. So, yeah, now I've got another figure of Joker to unbox. So, yeah. And the Joker, as I said, guys, is my favourite Batman villain of all time. And my favourite portrayal in live action will always be the legendary Heath Ledger, may he rest in peace. And... My favourite Joker of all time overall, though, when it comes to voice acting and probably in general, is probably, of course, the legendary Mark Hamill as well. I think he is absolutely fantastic as a Joker. That's easily my favourite voice role of his. So, yeah. Now, let's uh, get the thing open, shall we? So, on the top, there's three pieces. I think I'm going to cut them with my scissors here. So, hopefully, it shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to miss one on my right. And then at the back. There we go. Right, so uh, that's the box cut open. Now let's take out the figure. So in this plastic packaging, of course, is the figure itself. Looks really good, that. And it's caught by one piece of plastic rope. Nothing on the arms or legs, but I mean, one of the arms actually sticking out like this in this pose. So yeah, and there's the walking cane there as well. So let's take out that gun to get the accessories out of that, which are stuck in. So, so here it is, guys. That's what it looks like. And... Uh, Unfortunately, just like every decent Motors figure of unbox so far, with the exception of the Batman of Earth 32 and the Green Lantern Hal Jordan figure 2 pack I, I got. Unfortunately, it's the same background, nothing new at all. I was hoping to have like, a background from the Sweet Joker's comic, but sadly not. So, so first things first, when it comes to, to the accessories in the cardboard, um, here is the stand. Unfortunately, it's the same stand I've, I've unboxed in every DC motorbike figure. It's just exactly the same. Nothing new at all. Just the same, really. I was hoping they'd probably put the Joker symbol on or the three Jokers logo. Sadly not, though. However, on a more positive note, um, here is the card. And as I predicted, it's got the same picture of the, the, the Joker on as the back of the box. Where it's literally a picture of a figure doing a pretty cool pose with a walking cane. There's a database which I'll, read, which I'll read out to you. So, so this is it, it says the Joker, the criminal, and from Batman Free Jokers, real name is unknown in this comic. Once a small time crook, the Joker fell into a vat of chemicals that turned his skin white, his hair green, and his lips red, like a crazed clown. His crimes always involve pranks and jokes ending with twisted punchlines that are only funny to the Joker. He may look like he's clowning around. But this guy is bad news for Batman and Gotham City. In a stunning turn of events, Batman has learned that there are in fact three versions of the Joker operating in Gotham City. This one, known as the Criminal, is the most methodical of the trio and wants the Joker to be seen as more than just an agent of chaos. 
So he crafts a diabolical plan involving Joe Chill, the man who killed Bruce Wayne's parents, to destroy the Dark Knight one and for all. So yeah, true to the title, this is one of three Jokers. So hopefully in the future, guys, I'll, I'll probably find the other two Jokers in this all line. So now let's get out the figure itself from this. So so first things first, um, the only accessory it comes with, of course, is the walking cane here. Looks pretty nice, that. So Joker can use this to walk with. So... And then, now let's cut this rope holding the figure in place. Get the figure out now. And now, guys, um, here is the figure. And I gotta say, this figure looks really nice, fish, yeah. Pretty cool. So, yeah, I definitely love the costume as well, this nice purple suit. And and the head design kind of reminds me a bit of um, Heath Ledger's Joker a little bit. You see what I mean? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Just, you know, with bleach and not makeup, really. But, yeah, I'm not complaining, but it looks really nice. So, the head isn't, isn't that portable, though, guys. It's quite well stuck in. So, yeah, it's not too loose. But I guess that's good to make it secured. Um, arms, um, they don't appear to go to a side. Oh, they do. Oh, nice. So, they can go to the side of her teapot. <laughs> and they can move... 360 degrees, but they're quite well secured in on the right. Uh, same with the left. And uh, they can also fold to the elbows, which is nice. So yeah, and uh, hands can also move too. Legs can also move forward, but not too much. Probably because the suit's blocking them a bit, which is understandable. Uh, they can go to the side bow, which is nice. And uh, can the knees fold too? Yes, they can, but they're quite well secured on the left as for the right uh yes as well very well secured legs his feet are also quite well portable as well they can move a little bit and uh of course um the front part with the toes can also bend too as well like all McFarlane Toys figures which is i guess good detail because of you know you can do that in real life so yeah now now according to um the according to his picture the cane appears to go in joker's left hand so yeah um i think maybe it goes in you know um maybe like where, where it's on top you know like this sort of thing a bit like this um so so maybe you can put it on like this so he's like walking with it or maybe you can hold it like a staff and hit with it i guess i mean the idea of joke having a cane but it's quite similar to who um how joke was portrayed in, in the video game mortal kombat 11 here's my figure from that toy line and because he's got a cane there and while it's of course a very different cane as you can see yeah, he used that, of course, to hit within that game. So I'm sure this Joker can do the same as well. So, yeah. Um, but nonetheless, well, this figure Joker is really good. This very well designed and, yeah, put, and pretty creepy as well. I definitely do like the design of it. Yeah, they did a really great job designing it. So, yeah. Um, so, guys, this is me doing my unboxing of the Joker from the Batman 3 Jokers comic book storyline um, by the DC Motorverse Tournament of McFarlane Toys. Um, so, this is definitely a great figure, guys. Um, so, you know the drill, be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to comment in the comments what you guys think of this figure of Joker. If you have it, let me know what you think of it. If you are thinking about getting it, I'd recommend it. If you like um, the Joker from the Batman 3 Joker storyline, or the Joker in general, or DC in general, or the Valentine's figures in general, definitely a must have figure, in my opinion. Also, be sure to join Team Prime by pressing subscribe more videos coming in the future. If you'd like to be a member, you can restore them using the piece of or hero description. And I'll see you all later.